All right, hey guys, this is the video for October 13th. Uh, you have a substitute teacher, and um, this is the first time we're doing a video lesson in this academic English class. Uh, most of you guys already have me for language arts, so you kind of know the drill. All right, so you should have your portfolio in front of you, and you should be open to page 18. All right, so it looks like this. We did this part the other day. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the analyze language portion of page 18. So go ahead, get out your portfolio, open up to page 18, and make sure you have a pencil to write with. So now that you have that, we're going to go into analyzing language. I'm going to read and I want you to follow along. Complete the chart with precise words to discuss and write about the topic. So here are some everyday words that you could use in talking about should video games be used in education or at school. Now, the book has already give you, uh, given you some precise words to use. For example, the everyday word better is an adjective, which means it describes something. Right? So better, some precise words would be enhanced or refined. What I want you to do right now is I want you to come up with um, two words that are your own uh, precise words for better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you um, 60 seconds. So you don't need to pause the video, but take 60 seconds to think about two other words that actually um, mean the same thing as better. And uh, this is what I'll do. I'm gonna, going to give you a hint to two words that you could use. So one word starts with I am, and then I took out the middle letters and ends with ed. It means to better. Another one, it starts with ad. I took out the middle ones and ends with ed. So I'm going to give you guys 60 seconds of silence on the video to come up with uh, these words or some words of your own that are precise words for the word better. Now, I strongly suggest that you actually just really think and try to come up with your own words rather than just waiting for an answer to be given to you. That's not working out at all. That is being lazy and you'll never learn uh, that way. All right, so here's 60 seconds of silence. All right, so hopefully you came up with um, some words or maybe even words of your own. Here are the answers to the ones, uh, the hints that I gave you. All right, I was improved and advanced. All right, so if you wrote those, congratulations. If you wrote something else that is a precise word for better, fantastic. Let's go down to fighting. All right, so we know that um, fighting is a noun. And in fact, all of these words here uh, mean fighting but to different degrees. Brutality means harsh treatment of others, usually physically. So getting in fist fight, if you watch a fight uh, during lunch, that was some brutality. Right? Hostility means anger and often non-physical fighting. So if someone's hostile to you, they're not actually touching you, but you're feeling like they're, they're going to um, uh, touch you eventually or, or to, to hurt you. All right. So what I want you to do is to come up with some um, own words that mean fighting that are more precise words for fighting. And I'll give you another uh, 60 seconds.
All right, so let's see um, what words uh, or examples uh, the book gives us. Gives us violence or bloodshed. All right, violence is action that could harm others. Bloodshed is exactly what it sounds like. It's the shedding or loss of blood. All right, um, next word is ability. So it's a noun. Uh, the examples they give is talent or aptitude. I have the ability to play video games well. He has a talent to play video games well, or he has a high aptitude at video games. So what are two more words that actually mean ability that are more precise words? Uh, again, I'll give you 60 seconds to come up with your own words that mean ability. All right, let's see um, if the words that the book came up with are similar to the words that you came up with. And they came up with skill and proficiency. Skill and proficiency, which would be good precise words. So hopefully you did this um, exercise of analyzing language correctly, and you actually try to use your brain to come up with some words that were better, more precise words, rather than just waiting for the answers and writing them down, because no learning happens when you just get the answer and write it down. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to make a claim. All right, so now we're going to go into make a claim. All right, it says rewrite an idea using the frame and precise words. Then prepare to elaborate verbally, which means out loud. So here's the frame. The frame is, I believe that schools should slash should not use video games because the games lead to blank. And in the blank, you're going to put a noun phrase, serious addictions, aggressive behavior, more creativity, better social skills. And so these are some examples you could use, or you can come up with your own. Now, the grammar target here is to make sure you pick an accurate word to follow the word to. In fact, right now, I want you to underline the word to here. Because the word that follows it needs to fit with the word to. I don't want you to, to delete to or change it to a different word. I want you to leave to. Okay? So, for example, here is uh, an option that the book uses. I believe that schools should use video games because the games lead to refined coordination. Right? Um, an incorrect way would be refining coordination, uh, lead to refining coordination. That would be incorrect. So refined, serious, aggressive, more, better are all good words to follow the word to. Right? I don't want you to write this one. I want you to to write your own. So write a response that includes a convincing reason and precise words. You will write this down, you will pick should or should not, and then you would finish this frame, or this blank here, with a convincing reason to support what you're talking about. And make sure you use more precise words, just like up here. If you're going to talk about it, it leads to better something, use enhanced or use refined. If you're going to talk about, oh, it leads to fighting, you can say it leads to uh, increased brutality. It leads to more hostility. Uh, if you're going to say it increases students' abilities, um, you can change it to it increases talent or it increases aptitude. All right. So go ahead and write down a response right here. Um, 
of your own idea. All right, guys, once you have your um, sentence written in your portfolio, I want you to go on to Google Classroom and English 3D, which is this class that you're in. Go and find this assignment, Video Lesson 10.3, which is where you went to begin with, to start watching this video. Then I want you to actually add a comment. Um, I made it possible for you guys to add comments. What I want you to do is I want you to do two things. First, I want you to type out your actual sentence that you wrote down under the make a claim section. All right, so you're gonna type it out here. Um, and once you're done typing it, I want you to read somebody else's and then respond by adding a second comment that says something like this, I agree or disagree with blank, whoever uh, put that, because blank. So let's say if somebody says video games should be used because they um, increase students' talents. You could say, I agree with whatever student that was because I know I get better at uh, math when it's a game, all right? So in order to have this assignment complete for today, you have to not only have written in your portfolio, but you have to do two posts on this video lesson. Now, period seven, by the time you get here, period four will already have a bunch of posts. So you can also comment on somebody else's. Now, here's going to be the catch for you guys. You need to only type academically. I don't want you guys going, hey, yo, and going all into all this slang. Um, when I look on here, people will lose XP uh, if they're having side conversations. The only thing I want to see on here are uh, your sentences, uh, two of them. The one where you tell me your claim, and then the second one where you actually say I agree or disagree with so-and-so because of this reason. All right? Once you're um, finished with that, that'll be the end of this portion of uh, today's activity. So once you've completed uh, this assignment and did both posts, go ahead and use the rest of the period if there's any time left as a study hall. I don't want you playing games. The sub has strict uh, instructions to make sure nobody's playing games, but use this as a study hall to do work from other classes that you might be behind on. All right, hopefully you're being good for the sub and um, tomorrow you'll have um, another video lesson.